we're going to make a card. This card is using the uh, Playing in the Rain bundle. This is my class for the month, and the card that I'm going to share with you is in the class. So this is one of the cards that's going to be in the class if you choose to order it from me. So the bundle is the Playing in the Rain stamps, and then what are these called? Oh, Playing in the Rain dies. Yay. And so we're going to be using this. We're also going to be using the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper. And you will get a half a pack of this paper in your kit. It will be cut to six by six. So here it is. Super exciting. Uh, the kit will include a half a pack of the paper cut to six by six. Two pink glimmer paper sheets. So pretty. Um, a half a pack of the blue sequins. A half a roll of flirty flamingo ribbon. A half a package of these little loose flower embellishments. Now you might be wondering why I have this on my container. Because when I split them in half, that means I don't have I don't have enough containers because I cut the container in half. So I have some extras. And just to kind of make them fun, I just added a little piece of designer series paper to that. So you get all those, plus you get some of the blue and white variegated ribbon as well. And I think that is all. Plus then your pre-cut card stock kit to make eight cards, two each of four designs, and envelopes. So I'm also going to kind of incorporate in the sending support stamp set. This is a free stamp set for celebration. I'm assuming a lot of you guys have this. Um, it's a choice when you spend $50. So you probably have it. Um, if you don't, I'm sure you have plenty of sentiments in your arsenal that will work for the set. Okay. So... Uh, let me get my pieces and parts out here. All right, so we've got our envelope. Oh, and Wendy says she just is here for the first time. Oh, Wendy, welcome. I'm very excited to have you here. So we are starting with, this would be an eight and a half by five and a half piece of balmy blue. You're gonna fold that in half, burnish that, and then you're going to fold it in half again. You're gonna tuck this piece underneath push it into the fold line and score it. If you're not really into doing that, you can slide your paper in and score it at two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and then you can fold and make the exact same thing. We're going to make a, an easel card, which are really fun. So you're also gonna get uh, your inside layer four by five and a quarter. Uh, this piece here, I have already run through with the raindrops folder. Uh, that is another item that you will need for the class. Um, you can add it to your class kit if you don't have it, or you can use a different folder if that's what you want to do. So this piece is... And these two things will layer together nicely. Then you're gonna to need to snip off a piece of designer series paper. This is the pattern here. This is a one inch by whatever this is, four and three eighths inch strip. And we're gonna add that to the bottom. And since our raindrop layer is embossed, I'm gonna go ahead and use some liquid glue to adhere that. I like to use liquid glue whenever I have something that's been dry embossed because it just, I feel like it just works better. I can get glue all over the place. Wait a second. Raindrops come like, I gotta figure out how do raindrops fall. I guess they fall with the big end down. Okay. Oh my, that was my paper being added upside down. Oops. Don't put your paper on upside down. Don't be like Barb. Whenever you watch Barb, just know that you're gonna learn how, you're gonna learn what not to do. Because Barb, I don't know, there are days when Barb just does not have it together. Today might be one of those days. All right, so now we're going to add this to our layer of Flirty Flamingo. The liquid glue. The border here, not a ton. And there we go. Okay. We can also go ahead and add our layer to the inside of the card. We have basically our layers put together, but I do want to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to take some balmy blue ink and there is a little flower set, a little flower, I don't know what you call this, a group of flowers in the set. And I'm going to bring in a scratch paper and I'm going to stamp the flowers all the way along here, okay? So I'm going to start in the middle. Just because that way, as I go out, um, it kind of makes it easier for me to get everything spaced nicely. 
have a phrase out of the sending support stamp set. So we've got one on the outside, one on the inside. The one on the inside is going to say, courage is being really scared and doing it anyway. And so we're gonna ink that up and I'm gonna kind of stamp it in the middle here um, at the bottom of this layer. There we go. Then we need some scrap white and we have the clouds, the cute little bunny, and the umbrella. And we're gonna stamp all these in black. So I've got my memento here. I'm also gonna stamp my little friend here. Um, on this fun pattern of the paper. This is the opposite side of the raindrops. And I'm gonna stamp, I want his shirt because I'm gonna do a little fussy cutting with his shirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in some scotch tape and I am going to mask off like the bottom here. And then I'm gonna mask off uh, some of the areas at the top because I don't need the whole thing to you know get inked up. Okay, so I think that will work. So I'm going to tap this into my pad. And then the most important part about when you're masking a stamp is to take the tape off and throw it away. All right, so let me stamp him. I'm going to get there. So now I'm going to fussy cut out his little shirt. And look how cute that is. He's like got a ombre colored shirt. Let me just do a little snip snip here. And we're gonna just cut around the shirt. And so you can actually cut into the black layer, the black line, because you have the black line on the uh, white that we're gonna put this over the top. A little coloring of this rabbit. All right, so I'm going to go around his ears, the outer edges of his ears. This is a light smoky slate blend. And then I'm going to do kind of the center of his ears um, pinkish. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of come down his little side of his face there just slightly. I'm gonna do his little hands. This is light coral that I'm using for the pink because it kind of matches his shirt uh, actually better than I think the Flirty Flamingo did. So that's why I went ahead and chose this color. Um, I'm gonna go around my clouds with the balmy blue. So I would just go around all of the clouds here. And then my umbrella is also gonna be, this is balmy blue in case I didn't say it. I don't remember if I did or not. I was thinking it. Then what I would do is I would die cut these items. And so here is our little friendly rabbit, our clouds and umbrella. There we go. And then we have his little shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the shirt that's on this little guy here. Whoa, that was almost too much. And then I'm just gonna place his little fussy cut shirt out and put it over. And look how cute that is with his little shirt on. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so we can put this aside. We need to do some little flowers also. I forgot, I need more white. Here's a scrap, that's usually all we need. And then we need two of these. And now we're gonna color these flowers. I'll color one set of them just to show you how I did it and then um, I've already got them die cut, so. 
So I'm going to start out by using the dark daffodil blend and I'm just going to just kind of really randomly kind of color in the petals of these daisies. So I'm not like making, trying to make it perfect. I'm just kind of brushing the marker quickly across that. Then I'm going to bring in this light pumpkin pie and I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie to some of these petals just for some interest here. And since my yellow is still kind of wet, like it hasn't completely dried yet, then that's going to look pretty cool. All right, I've got a dark flirty flamingo that I'm going to do the flower middles. And I'll bring this closer to the camera here in just a second. And then I have a light olive that I'm going to do the leaves with. Now these leaves are so tiny that I am literally just tapping the tip of my marker onto the leaves. So just barely, 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 because they are so small that I'm trying not to go outside the lines. And so I'm just barely tap, tap, tapping on there. So here we have the flower. You can sort of see there's some uh, nice color um, in there with the orange and the yellow. And so I did already cut those out, like I said. So here they both are. And we've got that done. So now we pretty much only have our assembly left and our envelope. All right, so on the inside, I'm going to add both of these little flower uh, groupings. And this is what's going to hold our easel card up when it is open. So this will, like, if you have it on your desk, it'll be standing kind of upright, and then this is going to keep that open. Okay, so like that's what's going to happen when we get it done. It's not quite done yet. So then this piece here, I've got a couple pieces of the ribbon. So I have a longer one and a shorter one. I'm going to wrap this around what I call the seam. The seam is where the designer series paper meets the rest of the card. And I'm going to have it so it's kind of like right in the middle of the seam. And then I'm going to pull it to the back and I'm going to use my scotch tape to hold it down because I am a scotch tape gal. I know some people are not. You can use glue dots, you can use seal, you can use whatever, whatever works for you. This just works for me really well. Okay, then, well, actually we're gonna stick him on first. So I'm gonna use a few dimensionals. I'm gonna get some minis out here too, uh, to put on the ears and maybe the feet. Let's see, are they going to fit the feet? I think so. At least that foot. I'm not sure if it's going to fit this other one, but it should fit down here, I think. Okay, so then I'm going to peel the paper backings off. There he is. We've got his little umbrella. So I'm going to put a mini dimensional on the umbrella, and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue like down here on the handle because the handle is gonna rest on his little hand, but then the rest of the umbrella is gonna go onto the card, like that. All right, now we're gonna add our clouds. So we're gonna do dimensionals on them as well. Okay, and this one's gonna go over here, this little one. It's going to go up here and the big one. And then we're going to bring in some of the blue sequins and my take your pick tool. And whoops, I just pushed that right. Oh, did you see that? It flew clear across my desk here. I'm just going to add some of these uh, lighter blue gems to the clouds. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of fun. Then we have a little bit of bling there on the clouds. We've got a little bling in our ribbon. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take another small piece of the ribbon. I'm gonna tie it in a knot, like the first part of a knot. And then you can sort of slide it where you want it to be. And I want it to be kind of right next to our little friend here. 
And then I am going to snip off the excess. There we go. And he is ready to go on to the front. So we're only going to put adhesive, you know, on this bottom part because we wanted it, the uh, easel mechanism to work. So I am going to take my seal and I'm going to put it right below the fold line here. And then I'm going to put it at the very bottom of this piece. Okay, so that way I should be able to get this centered. Okay, then we're going to burnish that down and then we're going to do that. And then the last thing we need to do is put our little sentiment on the front, which I'm just going to take a tiny little scrap of white. This is just a half inch strip. And I'm going to bring in my Flirty Flamingo ink. And we'll stamp this. And it says, you've got this. And we're just going to kind of snip around. Basically just, you know, straight cuts. And then we will kind of flag the end. And then we're going to just glue it down. And it's going to be a fairly small piece. Okay, and you can skip this if this is like too small of a piece for you to work with. You could skip this and just stamp it um, in the center, you know, on the inside also. There we go. And we'll add a little bit of glue here. And then I'm just going to stick this right down here on the designer series paper. Just like that. So cute. And then I'm going to quickly stamp my envelope with my same little bunny. He's my memento. I'm going to have him kind of hang off just a bit here. Instead of having the entire bunny on there, just I'm going to have a little bit. And now here's a little trick. Um, I am going to do some coloring of him. So I don't want the blend to bleed through to the back of the envelope. So I'm going to put a scrap in here. And then I'm going to add some color to him and I'm going to go ahead and color his little jacket pink and there we have it so it is now done so remember this is one of the cards that is included in my class to go for the month uh, using the playing in the rain bundle so I hope you guys liked that